is a tale of two countries South Korea and Italy one of which is doing reasonably well although you wouldn't necessarily think so and one of which which is doing remarkably badly South Korea 7134 cases from WHO report 48 it's a 5.4 percent increase and you can see the percentage increase per day is on a steady downtrend um, now what I've done with the forecast for South Korea is I've taken today's actual figure of 7134 first before that I was taking the figure a few days back 3736 as the basis for the forecast um, which was giving a forecast of 10,500 cases but actually my forecast for today would have been 7441 and it's actually 7134 so putting in today's figure the forecast is now for 10,062 cases but actually I haven't changed the exponent and I need to do that the exponent for South Korea will not have changed very much because the trend let's have a look the trend is going, it's going to be pretty much on trend actually as you can see today's point is a little bit below the trend line okay so it may have improved the forecast a tiny bit the new exponents are 100 well you've got 111.85 and minus 0.163 111.85 and then the minus 1.163 is a little tiny bit steeper that means it's going a little tiny bit faster towards zero and that's going to give us just under 10,000 cases there you go okay the forecast now is that number on the right okay it's, it stops at 9938 basically uh, when does it stop at 9938 around about the 12th of May okay so that's good for South Korea it shows that South Korea like China might have this thing beat but I mean South Korea's figures I think are pretty uh, are pretty reliable now yesterday Italy's forecast went from 18,000 to 28,000 um, because the trend for Italy has got worse and as you can see the trend for Italy instead of trending down on my line which was going down here somewhere is now actually the percentage daily percentage is actually trending up which means that the forecast is almost null and void but still it's a little bit less than it was a week or two ago so I'm going to continue with this line but this is now getting much worse I had an exponent of about minus 1.12 uh, when I started this now it's down to minus 0 0.083 so that is going to extend Italy's grief actually for quite a bit longer and we're no longer going to have a 28,000 forecast that's going to be well over 30,000 so let's see what it is for Italy my figures are 62.641 minus 0.083 so I'm going to put those on here okay in the correct spot at the top of this calculation 62 62.641 see it's gone from minus 0 0.095 to minus 0 0.083 that's going to change the forecast quite radically unfortunately um, and we are at 50,000 cases for Italy now
on the forecast. So 10,000 cases for South Korea on my forecast, 50,000 for Italy. Okay, even though actually they've got about the same number of cases right now. I mean, Italy has 5883 and South Korea has 7134, I believe. Yeah, 7134 there. But the forecast, because of the decline in the percentage change, is very consistent for Korea. Um, that forecast is really working. I thought it might be too early to do a forecast for Italy. Um, because look at the percentage changes. You went from, you know, the 20s, the 40s, the 50s, and then you look, it was looking like it was going below 20 maybe, but now it's actually gone up to 26 again. So really that could be almost constantly at 22 and a half. Uh, and this could go much much further it might actually not be declining at all so actually what I'm going to do I had quite a close forecast you see today's forecast would have said 5852 actually it wouldn't have said that it would have said something slightly less let's have a look see what it would have said today's forecast not messing about was 5294 okay so my forecast was already a little bit lower than the 5883 but once I changed those two exponents from the equation and it's doing something ridiculous now being very difficult uh, once I changed those exponents on the equation upstairs up here um, that figure's not far out. I'm going to take today's figure, 5883, as the basis um, because that's today's actual figure. And that gives you 51,324 cases. And you can see actually that it's still increasing a little bit. Let's see what happens if we go down a bit further. 51,331 is where it stops and that's at a later date it doesn't stop maybe until the beginning of september so that just shows you if you don't contain the cases how much worse the figure is and my forecast for china is eighty five thousand nine hundred, right and um the china forecast hardly changes every day because the points are right on the line so it looks like Italy is going to end up with probably as many cases as China because my forecast is already at 51,000 and I think it's likely to get worse actually. Italy could have as many cases as China um, by the middle or the end of the year. I'm going to say at 50,000. Let's say how long, how long does it take to get, see it's slowing down there. How long does it take to get to about 50,000? I suspect that's probably by May or June. No, it's by the end of April. By the end of April, they'll be at 50,000. Okay, so that's bad news for Italy. I'm sorry, guys, but you can have 50,000 cases at least 